all right welcome back to high frequency chaos grab your drink of choice we're diving down random rabbit holes found on my tiktok algorithm all right let's get it Fox is like, I'll wait for you to come back. What are your thoughts on this one? Um, from what I know, cats don't like water. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to Thank you. you. Thank you. This is a special birthday for both of us. Stop. What do you mean by that? Yo, if you did not have a uh, door cam or a ring bell, would you open that door? Some people just open the door without even looking out. Can you imagine? missing hurricane helene jeanette kistner missing from the highlands north carolina laura ramsey 30 years old missing from east tennessee stephen cloyd missing in tennessee he was swept away while driving his jeep his last text to his wife was starting to float away kim ashby and her husband rod ashby were at their home in elk park North Carolina on Friday when it was swept away by floodwaters. Rod Ashby was able to grab onto a tree and pull himself out of the water. He went up and down the bank yelling for his wife, finally crawling to a neighbor's house for help. His wife hasn't been seen since. A neighbor took a photo of the Ashby home in Elk Park, North Carolina, as it floated in the river on Friday. Omar Khan's location remained a mystery to his family almost a week after Helene flooded Asheville, where video showed the 44-year-old man's home being carried away by floodwater. The mother of two had been trapped in floodwater. After going to work at a plastics facility in Irwin, Tennessee, she spoke to her cousin and stated that the cars were floating away and began to panic. She didn't know how to swim, and no one has seen or heard from her since. 
The flooding swept away 11 of the plastics facility's employees, leaving two of them confirmed dead and the rest still missing. Julie LaRue has been missing since a mudslide destroyed the Marion. North Carolina, home she had taken shelter in from the raging storm. Lynn McFarland was last seen by neighbors drifting away on his home's roof with his dog. If you have information, in Tennessee, please call 1-800-TBI-FIND or email tipstotbitbitn.gov. To report a missing person or request non-emergency support, please call NC211 or 1-888-892-1162 if calling from out of state. NC211 also has a registry page for missing persons and welfare check requests. Thank you for watching and stay safe, everyone. So the damage in Asheville, um, you know, there's still a lot, a lot, a lot that needs uh, recovery efforts. My heart and prayers still with you, Asheville, to your families and to everyone. And what's going on, y'all? So I'm still out here in North Carolina. My pancakes just arrived. I'm going to be whipping up thousands of pancakes. The people in Asheville and also outside of Asheville still need a lot of help. A lot of them are out of water, electricity. People just don't have power at all. A lot of them are cut off from communication. They don't have TV, radio. They don't know what's going on. And y'all, I'm glad to see a lot of Americans are out here helping right now uh, because FEMA and Kamala Harris is not doing much at all. And Kamala Harris is saying that they're gonna give these people $750. People's lives have been ruined. $750 will not do much at all. They need more than that. But we are out here doing what we can. So many of Americans are coming together. Y'all, look at this. Look at this. This is, what, this is what it's all about. We gotta come together and help out our American brothers and sisters. We need to help our people at home first at home first america is home and we need to help our people here these are our american brothers and sisters and they need us there's so many people who are still in need there are people who are missing some people can't find their children some people cannot find their brothers their sisters their mothers their fathers there's so many people missing still and they need all the help in the world but everybody is out here doing the best that they can do since the government is failing to help the American people. This is what's going on here. Diddy was harassing her. Oh. Because he's been harassing her for years. Yeah. 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 And they won't talk about it. I can see him. So when I hear Orlando eyes. bringing up the Janet Jackson thing and saying it in his little code word, I know what that means. I know what he's saying. Whitney Houston is not a spirit. Whitney Houston isn't even acknowledged for who she is. No one. That's how one. they treat you? That's how they treat it. That's how they treat you? That's how they treat us all. Insurance policies. Congratulations to them not cashing once. For you not letting them kill, that's cool. Diddy's trying to me. You know, Diddy and Jay Z, Auntie Sean and Auntie Yolanda. No matter how many contracts you try to take out on my life, no matter how many times you try to threaten my family or threaten people to stay away from me, no matter how many things you try to do to me and how many things you try to do to me, it ain't working. No. <laughs> For you daring to live when they try to. Yeah, well, you know, Janet is on my ass. You know, I can't do too much. I'm about to marry Janet Jackson. The world don't even know. That would be the best thing in the world you could do. She wasn't going to let her daddy do to her what he did to her brother Michael. Janet is strong. She's smart. And she's fierce. All right. Jesus Christ. You already got baby oil in here? It's like a skating rink. All right, look, Fluff Daddy, Puff Daddy. He diddler diddly shit look sean i gotta be straight with you here 
All right, they didn't take the 50 mil. Apparently, it's not all about the Benjamins, baby. <laughs> okay, you're not going to be a baller, a shot caller, a brawler who'll be dipping in the bends with the spoilers, rolling with Jake and the Taurus, okay? Trying to get your hands on some grants like Horace. It's not going to happen. You've been handed a raw deal, okay? No three-course meals, spaghetti, fettuccine, or veal. You understand? I might fuck a guy named Benjamin later. But uh, by the looks of things, I'm thinking you'll like that. So it's not too bad, right? <laughs> Here he's a nice guy. Uh, biggest bench in the yard. Biggest bench in the yard. Goes by Benji. So. Happy birthday to nope. me. Not your birthday. Not your birthday. It's not your birthday. Okay. Happy birthday to me. What'd you expect? You took out Tupac. The man's your national treasure. You know what I mean? It's the good news is... All you got to do is do what you've been doing for years. And uh, pretty much just take it up the ass on this one. <laughs> so apparently every step you take and every move you make, every single day, every time you pray, he'll be watching. Happy birthday to me. Nope, not your birthday. It's not your birthday. Not your birthday, but that's okay. I'm going to get out of here, Fluff Diddle. And, uh... Whoa! So I've actually been there. Uh, that's Hunter Mountain in New York. I've ziplined, skied, ATV'd, and snowmobiled uh, in that beautiful mountain. myself at a pity party didn't know that's how it go i was in it for a new ferrari but it cost me way more than my soul was it worth all the fortune one of the issues that we saw happen was we had somebody decide as hurricane milton approached that it would somehow be a good thing to take his dog and chain it to a post on the interstate well, um, we had um, uh, a Florida Highway Patrol uh, with us here today um, that, that saw that, that dog in distress. Dog was very rattled from that experience, uh, rescued the dog. The dog's now in Tallahassee. It will be adopted, uh, renamed Trooper. But we said at the time, you don't just tie up a dog and, and have them out there for a storm. Totally unacceptable. And uh, we're going to hold you accountable while I'm proud to announce that um, uh, the authorities have identified the dog's former owners and state attorney Susie Lopez is now pursuing animal cruelty charges against the individual, so. Rough down here, buddy. Rough. Very rough here. Storm Helene. Very it's been 19 days since my hometown, Swannanoa, North Carolina, and surrounding areas were hit by the Storm Helene. I know we've pretty much made it out of the news cycle, and a lot of people think things must be okay there now. Take a ride with me, and let's go look just to see how normal things are here in Swannanoa, North Carolina, 19 days after Helene. There's violence down on Market Street But we didn't know about it till we met Helene And the 
a good book down in a mountain home. You'll have to take a vacation just to bury your bones. It's sunshine and roses on that tea tree. Those talking heads, they ain't seen what I've seen. I've seen a mother standing on top of her Baby in her arms, it was floating on down. I watched my brother hanging on that limb. Like the fish of five feet of wheel to live. The smell of death lingers on that mountain side. There ain't You just get so angry that you just cry about it. You're so mad, you just cry about it. That's how mad I am. Like these, these, they have lost everything. Everything. Imagine. lives across the street she's 92 years old and I as I was trying to get her to the door my husband looked out and he says we can't get out we went to the back door and my husband got a foothold because the water was probably knee deep and he pushed me across the water to where I could get a foothold and then he let, got my mom and put her out where I could get a hold of her hands and I pulled her to me. And then I saw my house. It was just like it picked up. Water was over the top. You could just see the eve. It's just like it floated away. And as it went across, I think the tip end of my house hit my mom's house. And hers just uprooted and it floated away so that's we just lost both of them but we are alive which i'm so blessed and so grateful but we've lived here 50 years and my mom had lived there 70 years and we've just never seen anything like this. rihanna's music is blocked have y'all noticed that yeah, they're blocking her records. Like if you go and try to add a song to a short, you know, the approved play playlist when you put in search, you can't tag a Rihanna song to any of it. Not on Instagram at all. But why not? Especially anything from the anti album. It was her best album. It was the least promoted. Um, it came to mix. No, it was amazing. 
But see, Sean Carter doesn't like to be embarrassed in public. And neither does his wife. And there were nothing but embarrassing things all through that album about. Yo, what type of animal is that? Let me know if you know what animal that is right there. Where is the... <laughs> so, are you a cat fan or a dog fan? Let me know. Leaves. Yo, they're just chilling under the leaves. <laughs> Amazing. I had a daughter's clip in there. I take cash card or the moan. The guy say no to that hoe. Cause that hoe is just as bad as Joe. The gotta say no. Trump 2020. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack in the comments uh, on this clip here, but uh, this uh, was creative and it's it's funny. I'm guessing you're voting for Kamala Harris. Uh, yes, my queen. W w yeah. Okay. W what what's her, what's her greatest accomplishment? Well, as vice president. Mm. I'm not sure. I guess there's nothing. I'm stumped. But what is the best thing she's ever done? Um, I think some of the stuff she did as district attorney in San Francisco is pretty impressive. Such as? Uh, so, the, like, the... Releasing violent offenders that ended up killing people and raping women? No. No, I don't support that. Oh, yeah, okay. No, but, I mean, what, like, what has she done as vice president that makes you be like, she's my queen? Um, right now, because she's not Trump. Oh, not Trump. No, no, but, no, but please tell me, why should people vote for Kamala? Give me a reason. Oh, I don't have a reason. I'm sorry. Another important milestone. I know everyone here joins me in wishing you a very happy birthday. Happy birthday. Sky 5, live over the west side. Mike Lorber is over the scene by a rail yard in Austin. There's police activity. You can see it's impacting the commute. Mike, what can you tell us about what's been happening? Is this 
picture we're looking at looks like a chase of some sort. A lot's been going on in the last 40 minutes. Now, it was about an hour ago when the Chicago Police Department dispatched that, that some freight trains were being burglarized in the area of Lake and Lockwood. It's actually just north of Lake Street. This is the train line that houses the Metro UP line, which is stopped at this time, by the way. We've been here in Sky 5. We have seen people taking things off of trains, loading them into cars, and then speeding away. This is Lake and Kilpatrick. This is about a block east of Cicero Avenue where we've seen people going in. A lot of people. We're talking about dozens and dozens of people, dozens and dozens of vehicles. Things been taking off of freight cars, loaded into vehicles, and those vehicles are driven away. You can see it. Uh, multiple people, and Metra has confirmed this for us, although we've seen it from our own eyes here in Sky 5, people taking merchandise off of the trains, loading it into vans and cars and driving them away. Metra police has been here. We've seen about a half a dozen Metra squads. They continue to come in. Chicago Police Department has been here a bit as well. We do not know if there are any arrests at this time, but again, Metra issuing a statement here due to this happening and then there's a large amount of open rail cars and as you can see debris all over the track those Union Pacific West Line trains that run west out of the city I want to say the Milwaukee West Line train might be affected by this as well they are stopped at this time a lot to take in a lot going on it is still going on people are going up onto the train tracks taking merchandise that's what we've seen in Sky 5 and loading it into vehicles as the police go rolling in we'll keep you posted here that wraps up another one for the HFC podcast. This was just a random compilation dive down my TikTok algorithm. I think I need to start researching some more things besides the weather and the dark music industry. But anyways, thank you for being here with me again today as we do this deep dive. As always, stay safe, stay blessed in this dark, deceptive times. HFC out. Peace.